Hello and welcome, dear friends of protection and control engineering. We all know such a situation. A large group of technicians and engineers are on the plant and the current test of differential protection systems is planned. Everybody has a smartphone under his chin and nobody has a clue about the current distribution over the transformers. As always, the protection engineer is the guy with the magic hands. He pulls his laptop out of his pocket, briefly enters a couple of numbers and immediately prophesies the perfect power distribution for the planned short circuit test run. With our free test tool you have everything you need to deliver exactly this prophetic performance in the circle of your colleagues. In the following video I will show you how to use our CT test tool to calculate the current distribution of a short circuit trip in advance. Such a calculation is always necessary if several differential protection systems are to be tested at the same time and in addition the current from the test box is not big enough for the test of the differential protection circuits. Ok, let's get started. Let's start with the hardest part right at the beginning. A clever double click with mouse or trackpad opens our CT test tool. Everything that comes now is just easy. Let's look first at the picture. We see a generator feeding a test current into the system. The connected transformers are three phase short circuited and grounded on the secondary sides. In sum, we have the opportunity to calculate the current distribution for up to six transformers. Transformer 1 to 3 are two winders and transformers 4 to 6 are three winders. In total, here are nine short circuit locations from SC1 till SC9. As part of the current test run, we now have to calculate in advance how large the currents flowing through the transformers are. We start by entering the voltage. Here the rated voltages of the transformers are meant on the faultless side at the voltage level of the injected test current. In our example, that's 20 kW. In the second cell, we enter our test current and we can read off our results. So a 20 kV side current of 534 amps would flow via transformer 1. Over transformer 2 a current of 87 amps will flow and so on and so on. The calculations are always based on the stored transformer data which are entered on sheet 2 and 3. Let's take a closer look at sheet 2. Here the short circuit voltages and the rated power of the two coil transformers are stored. The nominal voltages are transferred automatically from sheet 1. If you want to exclude a transformer from the calculation, simply enter a nominal apparent power close to zero. In our example we ignored transformer 3. On the third sheet, the same game for the three winer transformers takes place. Here we enter again the short circuit voltages and rated powers and receive a replacement short circuit impedance for every three winder. Very important, the triangle to stair conversation must not take place after the classical conversation from the drive technology. It has to be carried out specially for transformers. Of course, we have the proper formulas in the background working for us. In addition, everyone can now convert the results to the under voltage sides of the transformers. For the two winder and symmetrical three winder, the transformer ratio is good to go. In case of unbalanced three winders, the good old current divider rule helps us as always. We hope that we have given you a great practical help with this tool. Thank you for watching and sharing your most precious good with us, your time.